Hello and welcome to a new edition of Ecoad Africa, full of environmental stories and ideas from Africa and Europe. Today we'll discover brand new forests in Rwanda and remote areas in South Africa where little tiny frogs are living. But let's not get lost in the details. First of all, welcome. I'm Neo Taegui and I welcome my beautiful colleague Felicia in Johannesburg. Hi NT, happy to be with you again. Presenting once again our co-production from Quese, Deutsche Welle and Channels TV. My name is Felicia Endersby and I'll be your co-host for the show. Here's what's coming up in the program. We'll show you how slum dwellers in Madagascar's capital get clean water. We'll check out a simple invention that can clean the world's oceans. And we'll tell you how a Nigerian launches a successful business with soaps made from natural ingredients. We start the show on the island of Madagascar. Frequent droughts and an exploding city population have made clean drinking water a scarce resource in the capital, Antananarivo. Many of the city's slum dwellers rely on contaminated water collected from swamps and self-built wells. With simple but effective means, the organization Water and Sanitation for the Urban Poor proves that not much money is needed to provide clean water. And the method also has great benefits to the environment. A crew from Jirama, Madagascar's national water utility, is repairing a broken pipe in Antananarivo. About 40% of the city's drinking water is lost due to leaks like these. Repair teams are advised and trained on how to detect and fix such leaks by the NGO, Water and Sanitation for the Urban Poor, or WSUP. Mevazara Rakotosin is a program officer. Saving resource doesn't need to be big as uh, creating a new treatment facility. But through managing, better managing the resource that they, they have now, so better management is already helping Jirama to improve the service that they give to the people now. WSUP is working to improve Antananarivo's water management. The metropolitan area's population has doubled to some 3 million over the past 20 years. Two-thirds of the people have no access to clean drinking water. According to WSUP, about one quarter of deaths among children under the age of five here are linked to waterborne diseases. Mavazara and her team at WSUP help provide basic infrastructure to prevent wastewater from polluting the environment and improve access to clean water. In partnership with the city, the NGO has already built 500 water kiosks that sell drinking water. They've also built laundry blocks across the city. Irina Rahanta comes here to wash her family's laundry. She also does laundry for a few customers, which provides her a source of income. This brings happiness to my family and allows me to earn a bit of money. Now I don't have to go to the river to fetch water anymore, which makes my life much easier. Now I can come here and don't have to go to the river which is for that Many locals still rely on contaminated surface water to meet their daily needs. The Ikopa River, which passes through Antanana River, is the city's largest source of water. Local people fish and do their washing here, but the water is contaminated by raw sewage and the waste that litters the riverbank. Mevazara Rakotosin says providing better infrastructure isn't enough. Political action is also necessary to create a lasting change. The work that we are doing is contributing to, to show to the governments how, should be, how will be the impact of this type of pollution to the people's lives and how the government could improve this uh, people's lives. Through our work, through our, through our action, we will show, we will influence the government that uh, there is some action that could be taken to avoid uh, people's life uh, destruction. 
The municipal water utility agrees but lacks the resources to take action. Only a small part of Antananarivo is connected to the sewer system and none of its wastewater is properly treated. The director of the municipal wastewater facility worries that environmental pollution will soon make it impossible to provide local residents with safe drinking water. The problem is on the potable. The problem with respect to the quality of drinking water is the environmental degradation. Our facilities have to operate at full capacity just to meet the needs as best as we can. With WSUP's assistance, the city has drafted a proposal to expand its wastewater treatment facilities. These improvements in water management are urgently needed as Mayor Vazara Rakotosin knows only too well. Otherwise, the Ikope River will not be a source of life, but a threat to the local environment and people.